Hey, what's up guys and girls? This is Midori, and I'm back with a new episode of Midori's Photography. Now, Happy New Year's guys. As stated before, this is going to be a new series uh, for the channel. So I will be continuing to do art videos, drawing videos, but I'm gonna also be doing videos based on photography, but more on the subject matters that I like. So particularly focus on in-game photography. Now, this week's episode is going to have um, pretty much Jin Sakai from Ghost of Tushima. And um, I was pretty much, this particular drawing, I wanted to do sort of like a poster photography. I wanted something that's very graphic, that that almost looks like it's not uh, taken for, with a camera or in-game uh, screenshot, something that looks more graphic, like almost like a graphic design uh, made uh, the poster for like maybe like a, one of those uh, Japanese or Chinese Kung Fu movies or samurai movies that you've seen in the past. So one thing that I know um, when it comes to this in-game photography or just photography in general is that location is always important. So throughout the game, there's so many locations that can work uh, for perfect scenery or perfect subject matter. Um, you, you know, that would make a nice piece for photography. And while I was on this mission, um, this is actually one of the side missions uh, in the game. And um, I noticed that I came across like, not necessarily bamboo trees, but I believe there are bamboo trees. I'm not too sure, but there's gonna be a scene coming up right here yeah there are bamboo Good trees uh, for us and the in the in the like snow over, section of this particular lake. mission that i felt like the scenery and the contrast would make for a good uh photography piece so that's why right here i was like you know what let me just try to do like a pose and just check out the lighting and see how it look or how it might look uh with a particular piece that i, I envisioned in my head that that's would make good for a pretty much a samurai or a uh, any type of uh, Asian like those covers that you see or posters that you see in the 80s now the photography tools that's in the game is a little bit pretty limited compared to certain games but I feel like it's enough where I can um, make enough justice that way it looks original so here you can see I'm adjusting the exposure and the contrast to try to get that classic 80s graphic look or even a like the 50s and 60s samurai movies that you see in the past that were black and white so that's the sort of the theme that I was going with with this particular piece and trying to capture that um, in that so this is me just adjusting the weather changing you could change the weather in the background to get to give you that graphic look depending on how much you adjust the contrast beforehand you go into the um, you know, adjusting the weather so I sort of was thinking either snow fog whatever looks white whatever gives me that graphic look so I stuck on the fog and now I'm just trying to figure out the pose and um, adjusting the, the highlights for the sword one thing that I like that they added in the game is that you can actually adjust the highlight for the sword in the game. And now I'm just going back here and just trying to figure out... I didn't like the original pose, so here I'm just like, okay, that looks good. So whenever when it comes to animation, getting the right pose, usually I just, you know, do an attack, press the attack button, button and figure out what pose looks right that would work for a poster. Now I, I landed and decided on this pose because I thought it was pretty cool and in terms of the composition and the rule of thirds, trying to figure out what looks pleasing to the eye or what look what might look the most graphic when it comes to you know making this poster. And I decided to go with letterbox because I felt like it sort of kind of looked more cinematic. So this is what I came up with. Um, I went into the options in photography and also adjusted the uh, the logo. I wanted the logo to contrast with the background, so I chose the black and white, the black and red uh, lettering to contrast with the white background. And again, I'm just adjusting the contrast and the white balance, the black and white balance here, and trying to figure out what looks the best. You know, just 
try to get that balance between what we visually can see and what looks cool, if that makes sense. Just slowly adjusting the exposure. Also the color grading. I wanted it sort of to be black and white, but I think I'm going to decide on both. I took pictures of both in color and in black and white. The only thing that I'm noticing that I did not like this is like after the fact that I didn't like too much is that his sword is sort of blending in with the background and given the limited tools that the game gives you when it comes to in-game photography I can't like go in and just adjust the sword by itself so I was trying to find a good balance because the sword is coming out white and it's just blending in with the background so I'm sort of trying to find out a good balance where I can still see the viewer can see the sword while still having that graphic white background, almost like if it was done in Photoshop. Speaking of Photoshop, if it was done in Photoshop, I would just highlight that particular sword with a selection tool and just change the contrast by itself, um, separate from the background. But this is, I'm just using, at this point, I'm just using all the tools that is just, you know, given to us in the game. You know, so there's only so much you can do, but it, also having the sword fade out in the background like that is sort of giving it more of a mysterious look like you know when you when it comes to drawing sort of sometimes you don't necessarily have to draw all the contours of the body or whatever object you're drawing sometimes you have to leave it up to the viewer brain to like finish recreating the rest of that object so it's sort of like <laughs> that's pretty much like what's happening here it's like anybody who's looking at this piece knows that's a samurai sword. They don't have to, you know, finish seeing the rest of the whole entire sword. So it kind of looks cool that way. It's like sort of like fitting in the background. But in retrospect, if I had a choice, I would just select the sword and change the contrast a little bit. So that way it stands out a little bit more and less of it fading in the background. Now here, I believe I'm adjusting, it's off screen, but I'm, I'm adjusting, I'm still adjusting something here. I'm adjusting the, I believe the weather effects, because you can see the, the leaves and the shadows uh, changing on, you know, on the surface of his clothing. So I'm just changing the particle, uh, like the density of how it looks and um, trying to just get the final look of it. But I was pretty happy with how this turned out. And this is just one of the first uh, posters that I did in Ghost of Tsushima. Now here is what you see in the thumbnail. This is a similar location uh, with the snowy background uh, in terms of the weather. Um, I just made it so that it's snowing. So instead of having the leaves fall, I increased the intensity of the snow. You can also do that in the game and also the wind to have more of a dramatic like, uh, effect. So as you can see, there's the particles there. I'm just trying to figure out which one looks better, the snow, the leaves. Um, I thought the leaves look a little bit better, so I just went with the red leaves to have a contrast with the uh, the background and just adjusting the, the wind speed to have more of a dynamic look. So almost like he's standing still, but it's like a heroic dynamic look. So that's why I did that. And now I'm just adjusting the weather to get more of a graphic uh, look to this. One thing I love about this game is that you can do so much uh, with the weather effects and the environment effects compared to other uh, in-game photography tools. Um, like Horizon, for example, you can't adjust how much leaves there are or how much bugs you see on screen. Things of that nature, you can't do that in Horizon Zero Dawn. But you can do that in Ghost of Tsushima because it's sort of like a characteristics of the entire game being in Japan you could adjust the, the lightning bugs that you see the leaves um, you know the little flies you know a lot of stuff that you could uh, adjust when it comes to like the weather effect and also I was trying to decide do I want him to be bloodied uh, the blood doesn't necessarily come across too much uh, in in the black and white in the high contrast black and white so that's why I removed the blood and I was deciding should I have him with the mask on. I felt like the mask looked a little bit more cooler. 
I don't know why I was adjusting the sword glint there because you can't see the sheath of this. I mean, you can see the sheath of the sword, but you can't see the blade, so it didn't make no sense there. And I figured that the letterbox looks more cinematic. Even though it looks less like a poster with the letterbox, I felt like it just looked it better um, having the letterbox there. And um, now I'm trying to figure out what logo to use with this particular piece i'm going to land on the the gold is nice but i'm going to land on the the, the red and black it looks the best okay guys and girls this is the end of this particular photography video. i hope you guys enjoyed it i want to do more uh like new content for this channel so this is you know this channel is all about everything art so it's not going to just be drawing it's going to be graphic design drawing mostly drawing but also incorporating some photography so it's a new year guys i hope you have a blessed and great new year 2023 and please look out for more and subscribe thank you very much Midori out.